I recently shared a video on my thoughts on the perfect under eye concealer for mature skin, or should I say if you're over 35, that perfect under eye concealer, and a little beauty hack of something I recently started doing when I'm applying different concealers underneath my eyes. And if you are interested in seeing that video, I will link it down below, and if I remember, I'll put a little card up here, so if you look up here right now, you could click on it and watch that video. But in that video, I did have a few questions of people asking, well, what do I personally do to prep my under eyes for skincare before I put on concealer. Even if you're using that perfect under eye miracle concealer <laughs> for mature under eyes, it's extremely important, if not more important, what we're doing in our skincare underneath our eyes before we apply our concealer. So thank you for that question. I love when you guys leave me comments and questions and when you share your tips and tricks. So I thought I would share what I do to prep my under eyes before I apply my under eye concealer. If you're my age or older, I'm 50 years old, many of you might deal with crepey under eyes, that dry kind of loose, uh, just aged looking skin under your eyes and you know we're aging so we're not going to be able to prevent every single line wrinkle crinkle on our skin. I just try to do the best I can do and hopefully try to age gracefully. So the very first thing that I do is actually not what I do in my morning skincare routine prior to putting on my concealer. The very first thing I like to do is prep my eyes the night before. So in my evening skincare routine that's where I really focus on a lot of the potent ingredients that will really make a difference, make a change in my under eye skin and I'm gonna show you a quick uh, evening routine of what I do for my under eye skin and then I'm gonna show you a quick morning routine for what I do for my under eye skin as well. Now, could you just put your regular skincare that you use all over your face, neck, and chest? Could you just bring that closer up around your eyes? Sure you could, but I do think with a lot of skincare products, especially a lot of them that I use, I do think that if I, what I'm using on my face, if I'm putting it super close up underneath my eyes, for example, when I used to use my prescription strength Retin-A, oh my golly, I used to try to put that up around my eyes. And sometimes I think maybe it helped a little bit, but Retin-A, prescription strength for me, that's why I don't use it anymore because I have found something that is so much more uh, potent for me, but without any of the irritation. But prescription strength Retin-A, it can be very irritating. And if you apply it and then you look in the mirror the next day or a few days later and you see your you know, under eye skin looks wrinkly and red and crinkly, you probably don't want to be using that high strength product underneath your eyes. I want products that are actually going to change my skin underneath my eyes, but I also want to use products that are extremely gentle. All right, so let's just jump on into the nighttime skincare routine of specifically what I do to treat my under eye skin. Now, I'm not gonna show you all of the products that I'll put all over my face and my neck and my chest because I just wanna focus this video just on what I do specifically for my under eye. So use whatever your favorite skincare is. So for example, the cleanser I'm gonna show you, you don't have to go out and buy this cleanser. You don't have to go out and buy any of these products. Just substitute that step so the cleanser step substitute it for your cleanser that you like to use. And speaking of cleansers, the very first step I like to do in the evening, I always like to cleanse my face. I will link every product that I'm sharing in this video if I can find links. I'm pretty sure I have links and I might have a discount code for some of these products. Actually, I do have a discount code for a few of these products. I purchased all of these products with my own money this is not a sponsored video. I know a ton of people, especially new people, ask me that. And I'm totally fine with people asking me that as well. But I don't do sponsored videos. Never have, never will. I do use affiliate links, which just means if you decide to use one of my links, there's never any pressure to use my links. Feel free to Google the products. And, you know, if you choose to purchase them, purchase them on your own. But if you do decide to use one of the links that I have listed down below, I do receive a referral commission. And, of course, if there's a discount, that's a discount to you. But, of course, there's never any pressure to ever use my links or any of my codes. Of course, if you do, thank you very much. So this cleanser, I'm gonna see if I can find it, but I actually bought this in Mexico. We were in, I'm on a cruise ship, by the way, for those of you that haven't watched any of my previous videos, this background is not my house. I'm in a little cruise ship cabin. That's why it's a little yellow. So I am using a ring light with more of a blue tone to try to pull some of that yellow out because it is kind of, you know, it's kind of dull and dingy in here, but I'm cheap, so I'm not spending money on a balcony. So we will get the cheapest bottom of the barrel, smallest little dark cabin <laughs> we can find. So on these sea days when there's not a whole lot to do, I still film videos because technically we're living on a cruise ship for quite a long time. But I will talk a little bit more about my travels and why I don't have a home anymore and all of that good stuff in an upcoming video. But I bought this in, uh, there was a stop we went to, Progreso, Mexico. I'd actually never even been there. I think it's in the Yucatan Peninsula.
formula but I have seen this on CeraVe's website or somewhere online I have seen this and I cannot find it in drugstores and could not find it um, you know Amazon or on their website this is their hydrating foaming oil cleanser I actually really like it I'll talk about it in another video but I really really like this cleanser so that's just what I use in the evening and I won't even use a separate oil cleanser oftentimes when I use this I'll just do a double cleanse with this so I will pre cleanse with this to kind of break up all my makeup sunscreen mascara rinse that off and then I'll do the final cleanse with this to clean my face and then the other cleanser I love to use in the evening because it's extremely gentle especially since we're talking about the under eye skin some of us can't use more you know harsh cleansers that are going to strip the life and the hydration out of our under eye skin so this is a fantastic cleanser this is by the brand Aven. this is their tolerance extremely gentle cleanser this just looks like kind of like a thin milky type lotion it's not foaming nothing like that i put this on my skin straight over my makeup sunscreen whatever i have on for the day and i just do a double cleanse with this and you don't mix it with water at first massage it in to your face it'll break up all of my makeup and then i'll take like a warm washcloth not a hot one and then i will just kind of press it on my face and just wipe it off gently wipe it off no tugging pulling anything like that and then i can just do a, a second cleanse with this or i can use an oil cleanser balm whatever and then use this as my actual cleanser but again you don't have to buy any of these I'm just sharing with you what I do to treat my under eye skin so cleanse your face however it works for you now let me talk about what I specifically do that has made a big difference in my under eye skin so I'll put whatever else on my face that I like to use for that night but like I said I don't like to bring a lot of those products all the way up underneath my eyes because that's very sensitive more delicate tender skin and of course we don't want to have you know all that crepiness and wrinkly crinkly skin under there we want to keep this part we want to treat it very very gently compared to you know how gentle we treat the rest of our face then I like to go in with a hydrator after I've cleansed my face I always like to apply almost all of my products onto slightly damp skin and this is one product by Aven that I carry this with me everywhere I go I always have one of these usually I just bring the little small bottle this is the Aven thermal spring water I've had this in my holy grail videos multiple times this is one of the most amazing hydrators for my face. It's basically just water, but it's sterile water in a can. I will just mist this product all over my face, but this is perfect to prep your skin before you put on any serums or moisturizers because on our under eye skin, we don't wanna just go pile on some heavy cream that's gonna weigh our under eye area down without putting on a hydrator first. Adding some type of a hydrator is going to not only add that water, that wetness, you know, for our thirsty under eye area, but it's also gonna help whatever product you use afterwards it's going to help them to penetrate even better this is a perfect product to use underneath the eyes to add that burst of hydration without causing any irritation at all after i've sprayed on my event thermal spring water now i'm going to go in with my eye cream and I'm not gonna use a feel-good eye cream like I call them in the evening. There's a lot of those feel-good eye creams that are just moisturizing, and that's great. But in the evening, since I'm 50 years old, I am not just trying to have my under eyes feel good. I'm trying to make actual changes in the skin under my eyes. So instead of me using one of my other feel-good moisturizing eye creams, I go for one that has a retinol, a retinaldehyde with an A-L, not an O-L. This is another product by the brand Aven. This is their Physio lift eye cream and this says it's great for wrinkles puffiness and dark circles but this is an actual eye cream formulated for the under eyes so you don't have to try to figure out like oh I've got this serum for my face that's a retinol I wonder if I can bring it up under my eyes no need to worry because this one is formulated specifically for that delicate under eye skin and this is not one that I necessarily like to use during the day but you actually could if you wanted to because this is not uh, it's not sun sensitive it's not like a regular retinol or your prescription prescription strength retinol since it's a retinaldehyde but I like to use this in the evening because this is more of a thicker formula so this is the star ingredient of my whole evening routine for my under eyes because this retinaldehyde that's in here it's going to help my skin cells underneath that delicate eye area to gently turn over a little bit more rapidly than if I'm just using a basic feel-good eye cream I know a lot of doctors say you don't need an eye cream anyways but if you're gonna use an eye cream why not use an eye cream that actually will do something versus just feel good under your eye they also have 
have another retinol eye cream. I think it's called the Retronal, but the ingredients are almost identical to this, and this one's cheaper, so I always buy this. And then they also have a Retinal for the face, which is really nice as well. So if you are sensitive to prescription strength Retin-A or different Retinols with the OL, you might really like the Retinal for the face as well. The reason I don't use this during the day is during the day, I like a little bit more hydration. I like it to be a little more kind of wet and slimy underneath my eyes, if you will. And since this is more of a treatment product for underneath my eyes, that's why I like to use this in the evening. But then I always like to use some type of a cream underneath. Now, oftentimes I will just use, say, my Vanna Cream uh, face moisturizer. I'll just put that on over top under my eyes. But I wanted to show you these two products actually by Aven because if you are dealing with more uh, sensitive under eye skin and you're really wanting to make sure that you don't have any of that irritation and redness or flakiness, I love these two products. This is the Aven Sea Calfate. This is their Hydrating Recovery Skin Emulsion. This is perfect for sensitive skin, delicate skin, and I love it on my delicate under eye area. Oftentimes, I will just put this over top of the retinol eye cream. Can you hear this little kid screaming out in the hallway? They're actually staying next to us. <laughs> You can probably hear it, but they're staying next to us and the baby, or I don't think it's a baby because I hear him screaming words like, no, constantly, <laughs> but this kid is so loud and the parents like, I don't know, maybe they are trying to calm the kid, but it just sounds like they're like, okay, little Billy, keep screaming. But I mean, they, it is so loud. It like wakes us up at 2 a.m. So the other day we pretty much took naps all afternoon because we knew they had gotten off the ship. So we were just trying to take advantage of a little bit of downtime. That's one of the only negatives about being on a cruise ship sometimes. You just can't control who is on the ship. And typically with Royal Caribbean, there are not a ton of kids, especially on the longer ones, you know, cause people aren't gonna keep their kids out of school probably that long. But this is, this one, we're doing a bunch of back to back to back to back to back <laughs> cruises right now, really cheap ones. But this one's only seven days. So, you know, there's a little more children, but yes. So if you hear all of that screaming, that's what's going on. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but it's so loud. Another product that you might really like if you do deal with redness or irritation, this is another one from Aven. This is their Tolerance. This is a soothing skin recovery cream. But what I like about this product, if you have the most sensitive eyes or sensitive skin this doesn't have preservatives in it it's in this like airtight pump but this is a really nice product a lot of the reviews said that people that have rosacea or red irritated skin they can never ever ever go without this product but I just like it honestly for my skin I just like it as a face moisturizer but what I like to do is when I'm trying to treat uh, my neck skin or my under eye skin and you know if I want to use something a little more intense I like to use these two products I don't use them at the same time but but, you know, I'll just pick one or the other. But these are really great to help heal that skin and soothe the skin really quickly. So that's pretty much it for how I treat my under eyes in the evening. To me, what I'm doing in the evening is just as important as what I'm doing during the daytime. In the morning, I cleanse my face. When I'm really trying to be gentle on my under eye area, I'll just go for this Aven one because it is so, so gentle. But the thing that I love about this cleanser is my face doesn't feel dry or tight or cracky or stripped. It just actually feel super hydrated and moisturized after I use it. So after I cleanse my face and put whatever serums or treatment products on my face for the day, then of course I like to spray my whole face or just my under eye area with my event thermal spring water or any type of gentle hydrator that you already have. Again, you don't have to rush out and buy any of these products. Just use what you already have. I wouldn't use things that are highly, highly fragranced or, you know, super irritating under the eyes, but if you have gentle products, for you know sensitive skin just use up what you already have after I missed my under eye area so that it can get nice and hydrated I like to put on an eye cream but during the day I'm not going to use my physio lift eye cream that has the retinol again you can use this during the day because it's not sun sensitive but it doesn't have the feel that I want my under eyes to feel like during the day it's not you know wet enough but it is very very moisturizing but during the day you know I want that glow I want that hydration I don't want my under eyes to look thirsty. I want to give them a big, big drink of water. This is like a tall drink of water, but I don't necessarily see results if I use this one in the evening because this is more of a feel good type eye cream, if that makes sense. So remember in the evening, I'm trying to do all of the repairing and treating and making a change in my under eye skin. And during the day, I'm trying to really add that hydration, moisture, 
feel good type stuff so that my concealer will look really pretty during the day. This is one, um, I got it off of Yes Style, I think. And again, I'm going to link everything down below, but I think I paid $6 for this. It's so cheap, but I love this eye cream for a feel good type eye cream. It's by a brand called Plant Based. It has honey in it. It has peptides in it. I think it has rose in here as well, but it's a very, really nice kind of like a thin serum-y texture, but it's got a really nice slip, a lot of hydration, a lot of moisture to it. And it just kind of makes my under eyes look sort of glowy afterwards because it does have so much of that hydration in it and it just feels really good underneath my eyes. One little step I like to do in the mornings if I have that extra time, this is not an essential step and it probably doesn't even make that big of a difference, but for me, I really enjoy using it, but I like to use these little eye patches or eye masks from Pixi. I'll use any of them. Dermatology has a really nice one as well. They're fun to use, they're very cooling, they feel nice, and I do think they make a slight difference when I wake up in my eyes are a little puffy. All right, after I take the little eye masks off, now is my most important step for the daytime. If you want to have the prettiest, the most flawless, most beautiful under eye area, you know, the most beautiful that we can at our age as we keep aging each year. But if you want your under eyes to look really pretty and continue to look really pretty, whether you have concealer on or not, you must use a sunscreen. This is one by the brand Dermatology that I absolutely love. I share it in 80 gazillion videos. If you love this sunscreen the way I do and it doesn't cause any eye irritation, doesn't cause me any eye irritation, don't just put this on your face, neck, and chest. Also get this on your eyelids and around your eyes. We're not putting that sunscreen on that eye area and we are being exposed to UV rays. It's really not gonna matter that you use this beautiful retinol eye cream by Aven because this is not gonna get a chance to work properly because now the skin isn't being protected. So at night, I'm treating everything, but during the day, I really wanna add hydration and moisture, but I wanna add that protection so that these products can work properly. Also, UV rays, it breaks down the color collagen in our skin. So if we're using a product that's going to help with collagen and help turn over those skin cells, but then we're not using sunscreen and the collagen is breaking down at a faster rate, I mean, it's really pointless to even do skincare. Okay, so enough with my sunscreen rant. But if you say, I don't like regular sunscreens around my eye area, my eye area is too delicate, you still need to use sunscreen around that delicate eye area if we're gonna try to make our concealer look really pretty. Supergoop has this eye cream, it's an SPF 40, it's an all mineral. It's an eye cream with a mineral sunscreen specific for our under eyes. And then of course my all time favorite, under eye product that is an all mineral SPF. This is by Color Science. This is their three in one total eye. I will use this as my under eye SPF, but I also use this as my concealer. This has this beautiful light peachy tint to it. Now there's different shades. So you could pick whatever shade would match your skin tone, but I like the medium shade. This is an all mineral SPF 35 sunscreen, but it is also a brightener under the eyes. It is also a hydrator. It is also a color corrector. And this works as a concealer for my under eyes. I did put this on today. This is the product that I used underneath my eyes. It doesn't give that super full coverage, but if you're dealing with, you know, mild dark circles, this could help cover that a little bit as well. But if I do need that extra coverage, so I did use this today, but I wanted a little extra coverage, I put my Kosas concealer over top. This has that really pretty peachy tint to it, so it kind of helps disguise any you know discoloration under the eyes. But then the Kosas concealer has like kind of a yellowish tint to it. Now, I don't love my Kosas concealer on its own because I'm not a huge fan of this yellow tint, but when I use it in combination with this or with, with a different uh, orange type of color corrector. I love this. I really love the texture and consistency of this Kosas concealer. I filmed a makeup video, so I'll have that video up in like a week or I don't know, whenever I get around to editing it, and then I'll show you how I apply this in that upcoming video. But if you have mature kind of crepey under eyes, you might really like this because it's more of a creamy under eye concealer, and it minimally will crack or crease under my eyes throughout the day. So that's so. pretty much it, how I prep my under eye area before I'm going to put on my concealer. And of course, what I do in the evening because that is just as important, if not more important, because that's when I'm really trying to make those changes underneath my eye area. And if you'd like to see that other video I did on is there a perfect concealer for mature under eyes, and I share a little hack in there that can really make your concealer or concealers that you already own make them work a lot better. So maybe they could be your holy grail concealer. If you want to see that other video, I'm going to pop it up here. So just click on this right here if you want to check that out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.